Hello everyone and welcome to Black Beanie Gaming. My name is Murphy and today I'm going to show you how to build my new design of One World Trade Center in Minecraft. No mods, programs, cheats, or commands required. Before that, this tutorial is brought to you by you. While ad revenue is no small thing, direct engagement is the single most effective way to support this channel and the content I create. I hope you'll consider showing your support by becoming a member here on YouTube, by purchasing merch, or by joining our Discord and subreddit, and by following Black Beanie Gaming on Instagram and Twitter, all by following the links in the video description down below. All right, back to business. Thanks to the second Caves and Cliffs update in late 2021, the height limit has finally been increased in all versions of Minecraft, which allowed me to design a much larger half-scale replica of One World Trade Center. The new design stands at 271 blocks tall, is 33 by 33 blocks wide, and features an updated exterior, interior, base, tower, and spire resulting in a model far more faithful to the real tower than my previous design. Despite all these updates, that doesn't make this a difficult build. The shape is the same, a cube, triangles interlaced with each other, and a big stick on the top. The challenge with this new design comes with the scale. Should you choose to place every block yourself, as I'll be doing in this tutorial, you can expect this to take you around 10 to 13 hours to complete when all is said and done. Furthermore, and I can't stress this enough, building this in survival mode is not recommended. The sheer amount of work required to make enough glass and quartz is madness. But if you have a little madness in you and you're up to taking on a maddening challenge, go for it. Now, onto the pieces you'll need to build this beauty for yourself. Smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz stairs, blue stained glass panes, cyan stained glass panes, light gray stained glass panes, iron bars, iron trap doors, polished andesite, polished andesite slabs, polished andesite stairs, andesite walls, deep slate tile slabs, deep slate tile walls, deep slate tile blocks, chiseled deep slate, dark prismarine slabs, smooth red sandstone blocks, smooth red sandstone slabs, diorite walls, anvils, scaffolding, grindstones, end rods, soul torches, redstone torches. All right, let's get to work. In your inventory, have the following. Smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, cyan stained glass panes, light gray stained glass panes, iron bars, iron trap doors, end rods. Find a spot in your world you'd like to build the tower. Once you find that suitable spot, clear out a 33 by 33 space square in the ground, like so. Take your smooth quartz blocks and fill it in. Find the very center space of the square, here, and place one block. We'll leave this alone for now. Now you need to pick a side of the square to build the largest of the four entrances. Once you decide, face it from the outside. We'll treat this as the rear. Now move to the left corner, here. Equip your light gray glass panes and place three panes vertically on the back left corner. Switch to iron bars. Move right by one space. Place three vertically. Move right, three light gray panes. Right, three iron bars. Alternate like this three more times, like so. Then place three more light gray panes on the space to the right. Count 12 spaces to the right, then place three light gray panes. Right by one, three iron bars. Alternate four more times, then three more light gray panes on the corner block. Move forward a space, place three iron bars. Forward, three panes. Alternate five more times. Forward one more, three iron bars. Count forward six spaces, place three iron bars. Forward, three panes. Forward, three iron bars. Alternate five more times. Forward once more, three panes. Move left, three iron bars. Left, three panes. Alternate another five times. Move left by eight spaces. Three glass panes. Left, three iron bars. Alternate another five times. Left, three panes. Move back, iron bars. Back, glass panes. Alternate another five times. Back, three iron bars. Move back six times. Three iron bars. Back, three panes. Alternate five more times. Back, three iron bars. Switch to cyan glass panes. Move right a space and place 10 panes to the right. Then another layer on top, like so. Skip the next space right, 
Then place two more panes right, another layer on top. Skip the next space, place three panes right, another layer on top. Skip a space, two more panes, another layer. Skip a space, ten more panes right to the next corner, another layer on top. Moving forward, place two layers of twelve panes. Skip a space, two layers of three panes. Skip a space, two layers of thirteen panes forward to the next corner. Two layers of eleven panes moving left. Skip a space, two layers of two. Skip a space, two layers of two. Skip a space, two layers of twelve to the next corner. Two layers of twelve panes moving back. Skip a space, two layers of three. Skip a space, two layers of twelve panes back. Add another four layers of cyan glass panes all the way around, like so. Before we move on, equip your iron trap doors and head to one of your entrances. Make a row of trap doors across the top half of the third layer of cyan panes, like this. Do so for all four entrances. Once you're done, move back to the rear left corner. Here, we're going to add three layers of iron bars and light gray panes to the outside, but alternate to the pieces below them. On top of every three light gray panes, add three iron bars on top, and vice versa. Do so on all four sides of the base, like so. Now add three more layers to the cyan glass, like so. Then add three more layers to the light gray glass and iron bars, alternate to the pieces below them, like so. And that's it for the entrances. As we move up, we'll be placing iron bars and light gray panes all the way around the base. But before that, add 20 more layers to the cyan glass, like so. Now back to the light gray panes and iron bars. Add three layers of alternating pieces all the way around the exterior, iron bars on top of glass panes and vice versa, like this. You'll alternate every three layers for the next 15 layers. Then again for the final two layers until it's flush with the cyan glass. Here's how everything should look so far. Equip your smooth quartz blocks and head to the inside rear left corner. Place a block on the floor, place seven blocks to the right, move right by 14 spaces, then place eight more blocks right to the next corner. Place 10 more blocks forward, move forward eight spaces, and place 11 more blocks to the next corner. Place nine more blocks left, move left by 10 spaces, then place 10 more blocks to the corner. Place 10 more blocks back, move back eight spaces, then place 10 blocks backward to the original corner. Add another layer to all the smooth quartz blocks, like this. Go back to the rear left corner block, place six more blocks right, move right, and place an end rod vertically. Place another block to the right. Now move right to the next wall of smooth quartz. Place a block on top, move right, vertical end rod, right, six more blocks to the next corner. Place two more blocks forward. Move forward, place a vertical end rod, forward, place a block. Repeat three times. Move forward to the next wall, place a block, move forward, place an end rod, repeat three times. Place three blocks forward. Place five more blocks left, left, end rod, left, block, repeat. Move left to the next wall, block, left, end rod, repeat. Then place six more blocks left. Place two more blocks back, move back, end rod, back, block, repeat three times. Move back to the next wall, block, back, end rod. Repeat three times. Now place two more blocks back. Fall down to the floor of the rear left corner, move forward one space, and place four blocks right, then one more back. Go to the rear right corner, count forward one space, place four blocks left, then another back. Front right corner, move back one, four blocks left, one more forward. Front left corner, Move back one, four blocks right, one more forward. Add two more layers on top of these. Then add five layers to all of the smooth quartz and end rods, like so. Once done, add another layer of smooth quartz blocks on top of everything, including the end rods. Go down to the center block we placed in the very beginning. Move back two spaces, then left by seven. Place four smooth quartz blocks left, Move back four spaces and place four blocks right, then three blocks forward. 
add two layers to this. On top of this, make a 5x4 solid square of blocks, like so. On top of this, make a 5x4 empty square of blocks. Add three more layers on top, then add a solid 5x4 square on top of that. Here's how it looks. Back to the center block on the floor, move forward two spaces, left by seven, and place four blocks left. Move forward four spaces, place four blocks right, then three blocks back. Two more layers. Five by four solid square on top of that. Five by four empty square on top of that. Three more layers. Five by four solid square on top of that. Back to the center block. Move back 11 spaces, then left by seven. Place 15 blocks right. Add another layer. Place another block on the end, move in, and place an end rod. Alternate all the way down the wall, like so. Add five more layers, then one layer of smooth quartz only. Center block, move forward 11 spaces, left by seven, place 15 blocks right. Add another layer. Place another block on the end, move in, and place an end rod. Alternate all the way down the wall. Add five more layers, then one layer of smooth quartz. Back to the center block. Move back two spaces, right by seven, place five blocks back, then three blocks right. Move forward four spaces, place three blocks left. Four more forward, then two more right. Move forward four spaces, place four blocks left, then four more back. You have two U shapes with a line connecting them. Add two layers, add a five by four solid square on top of the two U shapes, and another layer to the line between them. Now an empty 5x4 square on top of the solid ones, and another layer to the line between. Add three more layers to them all, solid 5x4 squares on top, and another layer to the line between. Here's how it should look. Back to the center block. Move back two spaces, right by four spaces. Place five blocks back. Move forward left, then place seven blocks left. Move back left, place five blocks forward, then five more blocks right. Add two more layers. For the next layer, add another block on top of everything, but add two blocks between the gap in the front, like so. Then add seven upended stair pieces in the gap between the blocks in the back, like this. Now add five layers of smooth quartz blocks on top of the whole thing. Back to the center block, move forward two spaces, left by four spaces, place five blocks forward. Move back right, then place seven blocks right. Move forward right, place five blocks back, then five more blocks left. Add two more layers. For the next layer, add another block on top of everything. Add two blocks in the gap in the back, then seven upended stair pieces in the gap in the front. Add five layers of smooth quartz blocks on top. Center block, move right by two, back by three, left by one. Place a smooth quartz stair facing left. Place an upended stair on its back, then a regular piece on top of that. Upended behind that, regular on top, upended behind that. This is how we'll be making staircases. Switch to slabs. Place one left of the upended stair, one behind, two more right. Make another staircase up to the right, like so. Slab right, one forward, two left. Now another staircase up to the left. Slab left, one behind, six right, one more forward. Back down to the center block, move left by two, forward three, right once. Make a staircase up to the right. Slab right, one forward, two left. Make another staircase up to the left. Slab left, one back, two right. Now another staircase up to the right. Slab right, one forward, six left, one more back. Go back down and destroy the center block. Switch to slabs and rise up to the tops of all the quartz structures you've built. Fill in all of the area between them with slabs on the top half of the blocks. Do not cover up the tops of the staircases. Here's how it should look. Re-equip your smooth quartz blocks and head to one of the corners. Place 21 blocks vertically to make a column. Then do so in every other corner, like so. Fall back down to the rear left corner Every two spaces to the right, place a block, until you reach the rear right corner. From here, do the same moving forward, then left from the front right corner, and back from the front left corner, like so. 
from the last block you placed, move right by 4 spaces and forward by 2, then place another block. Move forward by 5 and place another. Do so 3 more times. Count right by 5 and place another. Repeat 3 times. Back 5, place another. Repeat 3 times. Left by 5, place another. Repeat twice. Forward 5, another block. Repeat twice. Repeat twice to the right, twice to the back, once more left, and once more forward. Raise each of the blocks against the glass by 20 blocks. Raise each of the inner blocks by 23 blocks, like this. Fall back down to the bottom of the center column, here. Move to the column to its left, face the left side of the bottom block, move forward once, and make a staircase moving back, three spaces tall, like so. Place a 2x2 two two square of slabs to the right, lined up with the top half of the pieces, like this, then make another staircase forward from the front right slab. Now a 2x2 two two square of slabs to the left. Spiraling up like this, make 5 more staircases, for a total of 7. Fall back down to the center, move to the column to its right, face its right side, move forward by 1, and mirror the staircase process all the way up, 7 total. Here's how it looks. Fall back down and equip your slabs. Count up by three spaces and fill in the entire area with slabs, aligned with the top half of the blocks. Don't cover up access to your staircases. You want to be able to walk up and down. Move up three spaces and do so again. Now repeat five more times. Equip your smooth quartz stairs and go to the top of the rear left column. Place an upended stair piece on the back of the top block. Place 29 more upended blocks to the right. Turn and place 30 more forward, 30 more left, then 30 more back. Alright, that's it for the base. See, not difficult at all. Go ahead and take a break and we'll get back to work in the next section. See you then. Welcome back. In your inventory, have the following. Smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, Smooth quartz slabs, blue stained glass panes, deep slate tile wall pieces. Let's get to work on the tower by building up the outline. We'll be making large triangles out of columns. There's only one set of measurements to remember, but I'll go through it step by step for you. Equip your smooth quartz blocks and go to the rear left upended stair piece. Place six blocks vertically. Now do so for the other three corners before returning to the rear left. Switch to smooth quartz slabs and place a slab to the right of the top block, like this. Make a column of 12 smooth quartz blocks on top of the slab. Place another slab to the right of the top block, then add another column of 12. Repeat this 12 times. 12 block column, slab to the right, column, slab, etc. Place a slab to the right of the top block of the last column, then make a column of six blocks. That's one six block column on the corner, 14 total 12 block columns, and one final six block column. Fall all the way back down to the rear left corner column. We're going to do the exact same thing, only moving forward. So place a slab in front of the top block of the column, then make a 12 block column. Slab in front, another column, etc. After you've made 14 tall columns, place a final slab forward, then a six block column on top of that. Double check to make sure that this matches the other columns you made to the right. Fall down to the front right column, slab behind the top block, 12 block column on top of that, repeat 13 times. You'll see that the top of the last 12 block column already meets the six block column you made earlier. So go ahead and fall back down to the front left corner column. Time to build up to the right. Slab to the right of the top block of the column, 12 block column on top of that, repeat 13 times. Another slab right, six block column on top. Fall down to the front right corner column, slab left of the top block, 12 block column on top of that. Repeat 13 times. It'll meet the six block column up top. Make sure everything matches your other columns so far, then fall back down to the front right column. Slab behind the top block, 12 block column on top of that. Repeat 13 times. Another slab behind, six block column on top of that. Fall down to the rear right column, slab in front of the top block, 12 block column on top of that, repeat 13 times. Fall back down to the rear right column, slab left of the top block, 12 block column on top of that, repeat 13 times. Now that you're up top, 
connect the top blocks of the six block columns with diagonal rows of 14 blocks. It'll make a diamond shape, like this. Take your slabs and add another layer to the diamond. Here's how everything is looking so far. Equip your blue glass panes and fall back down to the rear left corner column. On the rear face of the bottom block of the column, place a blue pane, then 30 more to the right. Place five more panes above this. Move up to the next column and place 12 panes up. Do so for every 12 block column going up from here, like this. When you reach the six block column up top, place five more panes, then move back down to the 12 block column below it to the left. Place 12 panes going down, then again for every column back down to the rear left corner, finishing with five more panes down to the original pane. This is the outline for the exterior glass on this face of the building. You're going to make the same outline on the other three faces of the building, following the exact same process, like this. Once the outlines are made, Fill the outlines in with blue glass panes. This will take a good chunk of time, so take as many breaks as you need. Once you're done, it'll look like this. When you're ready, head back down to the top of the rear left corner column. On the rear face of the 12 block column in front of you, place 12 blue glass panes vertically, like this. Face the next 12 block column in front of you and do the same. Then again immediately to the right, like so. Now another behind that, connecting to the other quartz column. This is how we'll be doing this as we go up. We zigzag these vertical lines of blue panes between the quartz columns. We've done it once, so face the next 12 block column. 12 blue panes on the back, 12 blue panes right. Now zigzag until you reach the next column. Do this for the next eight 12 block columns going up. Here's how it looks. Move up to the next column in front of you, 12 blue panes on the back, from the top glass pane, place a deep slate tile wall piece to the right, then five more down. Place six blue panes below that, 12 blue panes back, six deep slate walls right, six panes below that, 12 panes back, 12 panes right, 12 panes back. Six deep slate walls down on the right, six blue panes below that, 12 panes back, six deep slate and six panes right, 12 panes back, right, then back again. Six deep slate walls down on the right, six blue panes below that, 12 panes back, six deep slate and six panes right. 12 panes back, right, then back again. Six deep slate walls down on the right, six panes below, 12 panes back, six deep slate and six panes right, 12 panes back. Go to the next 12 block column in front of you, 12 panes back, 12 panes right, Nine deep slate walls up from the bottom behind that, three panes on top. Twelve panes right, nine deep slate walls behind, three panes on top. Twelve panes right, back, and right again. Nine deep slate walls behind, three panes on top. Twelve panes right, nine deep slate walls behind, three panes on top. Twelve panes right, back, and right again. Nine deep slate walls behind, three panes on top, twelve panes right, nine deep slate walls behind, three panes on top, 12 panes right, back, and right again, nine deep slate walls behind, three panes on top, 12 panes right, nine deep slate walls behind, three panes on top, 12 panes right, then back. Go up to the next empty 12 block columns and make a zigzag of blue panes all the way across, like so. Move up to the six block columns, five blue panes behind the front column, five more right, then zigzag all the way back to the other six block column. Here's how it looks so far. Fall down to the front left corner column, place 12 blue panes on top of it, move up to the next column to the right, place 12 blue panes left of the column, another 12 behind, another 12 blocks left. Up to the next column on the right, 12 blue panes left, 12 behind, zigzag to the next column. Do so for the next eight sections going up. Go up to the next column on the right, 12 blue panes left, 6 deep slate walls behind with 6 blue panes below. 12 panes left, 6 deep slate behind, 6 panes below. 12 panes left, then back, then left again. 6 deep slate behind, 6 panes below. 12 panes left, 6 deep slate behind, 6 panes below. 12 panes left, then back, then left again. 6 deep slate behind, 6 panes below. 12 panes left, 
six deep slate behind, six panes below. Twelve panes left, then back, then left again. Six deep slate behind, six panes below. Twelve panes left, six deep slate behind, six panes below, twelve more panes left. Move up to the next column on the right. Twelve panes left, twelve more behind, nine deep slate going up to the left, three panes on top. Twelve panes behind, nine deep slate going up to the left, three panes on top. Twelve panes behind, left, then behind. 9 deep slate going up to the left, 3 panes on top, 12 panes behind, 9 deep slate going up to the left, 3 panes on top, 12 panes behind, left, then behind, 9 deep slate going up to the left, 3 panes on top, 12 panes behind, 9 deep slate going up to the left, 3 panes on top, 12 panes behind, left, then behind, 9 deep slate going up to the left, 3 panes on top, 12 panes behind, 9 deep slate going up to the left, 3 panes on top, 12 panes behind, then left. Move up to the next section and make another zigzag wall. Then move up to the 6 block columns and make the final zigzag wall. We're going to move a little bit more quickly now. Move down to the front right corner column. 12 panes on top, move up to the next column on the left, place 12 panes to the right, back, then right. Move up to the left column. 12 panes right, back, then zigzag. Repeat for the next 8 sections going up. Next column. 12 panes right, 6 deep slate behind, 6 panes below that. 12 panes right, 6 deep slate, 6 panes behind. 12 panes right, back, and right. 6 deep slate, 6 panes behind. 12 panes right, 6 deep slate, 6 panes behind. 12 panes right, back, and right. 6 deep slate, 6 panes behind. 12 panes right, 6 deep slate, 6 panes behind. 12 panes right, back, and right. 6 deep slate, 6 panes behind. 12 panes right. 6 deep slate, 6 panes behind. 12 panes right. Next left column. 12 panes right, then back. 9 deep slate up to the right. 3 panes on top, 12 panes back. 9 deep slate up to the right. 3 panes on top. 12 panes back, right, and back. 9 deep slate, 3 panes right. 12 panes back. 9 deep slate, 3 panes right. 12 panes back, right, and back. 9 deep slate, 3 panes right. 12 panes back, 9 deep slate, 3 panes right. 12 panes back, right, and back. 9 deep slate, 3 panes right. 12 panes back, 9 deep slate, 3 panes right. 12 panes back, then right. Zigzag wall on the next section, then the last, like so. Move down to the rear right corner column, 12 panes on top, Move up to the next column in front of you, zigzag panes to the next column. Zigzag panes on the next nine sections. Up to the next column in front. 12 panes back, six deep slate, six panes left. 12 panes back, six deep slate, six panes left. 12 panes back, left, and back. Six deep slate, six panes left. 12 panes back, six deep slate, six panes left. 12 panes back, left, and back. Six deep slate, six panes left. 12 panes back, 6 deep slate, 6 panes left. 12 panes back, left, and back. 6 deep slate, 6 panes left. 12 panes back, 6 deep slate, 6 panes left. 12 panes back. Next column in front, 12 panes back, 12 panes left, 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, back, and left, 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, back, and left. 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, back, and left. 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, 9 deep slate, 3 panes back. 12 panes left, then back. Zigzag walls in the next two sections, like so. And there we go! All of our glass walls are done! Whenever you're ready, drop all the way down inside the tower and equip your slabs. Go to the rear left corner, face the right side of the column, count up three spaces, and place a slab on the top half of the block. Make a row all the way across the glass to the rear right corner column. Make another row of slabs across the right side, then the front, then the left going back to the rear left corner. 
Moving up three spaces at a time, we'll make rows of slabs all the way around the inside of the glass along the top half of the pieces, for a total of 46 more rows of slabs around the interior. Move up three more spaces and make a row of solid blocks all the way around, like this. Now switch back to slabs, move up by three, and continue making slab rows. 11 more. Fall all the way back down inside the tower to the rear left corner column, Switch to smooth quartz blocks, count right from the column by five spaces, forward one, and place three blocks vertically. Five more spaces right, three blocks vertically. Do so three more times. Move right by four, forward by four, place three blocks. Move forward five spaces, and place three blocks. Do so three more times. Move forward four spaces, left by four, three blocks, left by five, three blocks. Do so three more times. Left by four, back by four, three blocks. Back five, three more blocks. Do so three more times. You should notice that the columns are organized into three groups. 20 outer columns up against the glass, 16 inner columns situated right inside of those, then eight inner columns surrounding the center column. We're going to build these up going inside out. So go to your center column and use your smooth quartz blocks to add 189 pieces on top, like this. Now fall back down to the inner columns. Raise each of them by 174 blocks. Fall back down to the middle columns. You have the corner columns, A. You have the columns right next to them, B. Then the columns remaining, C. Raise the A columns by 99 blocks. Raise the B columns by 159 blocks. Now raise the C columns by 174 blocks. Fall down to the outer group of columns. You have the columns closest to the corners, A. You have the columns next to those, B. And the columns remaining, C. Raise the A columns by 39 blocks. Raise the B columns by 99 blocks. Then raise the C columns by 159 blocks. And that's it for the columns. Here's how it looks. Equip your stair pieces and fall down to the base of the center column. Move to the column immediately to the left. From the space to its right, move back by one and make a staircase headed forward. A two by two square of slabs to the left of the top stair. From the back left slab, make another staircase headed back. 2x2 two two square of slabs to the right. Continue the spiraling staircase up this column by another 56 individual staircases, like so. Fall back down to the bottom of the center column. Move to the column immediately to the right. From the space to its left, move back by one and make a staircase headed forward. 2x2 two two square of slabs to the right, another staircase headed back, then continue spiraling all the way up the column another 56 times, until you're level with the other staircase. Take a quick break now, because the next part will take some time, especially if you're suffering from the slab glitch. When you're ready, fall back down and equip your slabs. Line up with the slab outlines of the glass we made before and fill in the entire area with slabs, leaving space above your staircases to walk up and down. Moving up, do so another 58 times. we won't be adding slabs inside the top layer of smooth quartz. And there you go, the tower is finished. All that's left is to furnish the roof and make the spire, which we'll do in the next section. I'll see you then. Welcome back. In your inventory, have the following. Smooth quartz blocks, smooth red sandstone slabs, smooth red sandstone blocks, deep slate tile blocks, deep slate tile slabs, deep slate tile wall pieces, chiseled deep slate, polished andesite blocks, polished andesite stairs, polished andesite slabs, andesite wall pieces, dark prismarine slabs, diorite wall pieces, scaffolding, grindstones, anvils, redstone torches, soul torches, end rods. 
head to the roof of your building. Equip your smooth quartz blocks and move back to the rearmost slab, here. Place two smooth quartz blocks right on top, then a deep slate tile slab on top of that. Count forward twice, right twice, and place two smooth quartz blocks with a deep slate tile slab on top. Forward twice, right twice, and do so again. Repeat five more times. Now count left twice, forward twice, and make another. Left twice, forward twice, again. Repeat five times. Back twice, left twice, again. Repeat six times. Right twice, back twice, another. Repeat five times. Now that you're back in the back corner of the roof, switch to anvils and place one right in front of the stack of quartz blocks. Place a deep slate tile to the left and right of the anvil. Place three anvils in front of these, then a row of seven deep slate slabs in front of those. Move to the front corner and mirror what you just did, like so. Go to the right corner, place an anvil left of the quartz block, place a deep slate slab ahead of and behind the anvil. A row of three anvils left of that, then a row of seven deep slate slabs left of that. Go to the left corner and mirror this, like so. From the center deep slate slab, here, count right twice and place a polished andesite block. Place another back, move back right, place two more back. Switch to deep slate tile blocks and place two more backward. Two more deep slate tile blocks right, move back right, place three more back, then one more right. Switch back to polished andesite and place two more right. Move back right, place three more right. Move forward right, place two more right. Switch back to deep slate tile blocks and place two more right, then two more forward. Move forward right, place three right, then one more forward. Switch to polished andesite and place two more forward. Forward right, three more forward. Forward left, two more forward. Switch back to deep slate tile blocks and place two more forward, then two more left. Forward left, three blocks forward, one more left. Switch to polished andesite and place two more left. Forward left, three blocks left. Back left, two more left. Switch to deep slate tile blocks and place two more left, then two more back. Back left, place three left, then one more back. Back to polished andesite, place two more back. Back left, one more block. Add another layer to the deep slate tile blocks, then add a layer of smooth red sandstone blocks on top of that. Now add three layers to the polished andesite, like so. Go to the left group of polished andesite, face the rear two blocks, move back right, and place another polished andesite block. Do this another three times to meet the andesite in the rear. Do this for the other three gaps between polished andesite, like so. Add a layer to all of the polished andesite and switch to dark prismarine slabs. Face the top half of the andesite blocks and make a row of prismarine slabs all the way around the circle. Face the five diagonal slabs on the rear left of the circle, here, and add a line of four slabs outside of that, in between the pieces, like this. Do so for the other three groups of diagonal slabs, like this. Head inside the andesite circle and make a row of prismarine slabs all the way around the lower half of the top blocks. Repeat this by adding another layer of polished andesite, adding the prismarine to the outside of the new layer, and then to the inside. Repeat one more time with a final layer of andesite. Once done, place a layer of prismarine slabs on top of the andesite. Now, fall down to the bottom of the center column, here. Equip your smooth quartz blocks and make a 3x3 square around the bottom block, like so. Add another block to the middle front, right, back, and left blocks to make a diamond shape. Switch to smooth red sandstone slabs and outline this diamond, like so. Switch to scaffolding and add three pieces just outside the edges of the red sandstone slabs, like this. Switch back to red sandstone slabs and make a 9x9 square outline of slabs all around this, like so. Switch to deep slate tile blocks and make an 11x11 square around the red sandstone slabs. Add another layer on top of it. Switch to grindstones and face the inside of the top layer of deep slate. Place a grindstone every other space around the square, four grindstones on every side. Re-equip your deep slate tile blocks and fill in the space between the andesite circle and the deep slate square, like so. 
Now add a layer of smooth red sandstone blocks on top of the deep slate square. Equip your smooth red sandstone slabs and go to the rear left sandstone block. Count right by three spaces, then place two sandstone slabs back on top of the deep slate. Move back right and place three red sandstone slabs right. Forward right, two slabs forward. Mirror this from the front of the square, left and right of the square. Here's how it looks. Before we move on, place some end rods around here to illuminate the base of the spire. Now face the rear of the center column. Place a polished andesite block behind the bottom block, then 12 more blocks on top of it. Do the same on the front, left, and right faces of the center column. Between the polished andesite, place 13 andesite wall pieces vertically, like so. Go to the top block of the center column. Place a polished andesite stair piece on all four sides, like this. Now place six more polished andesite blocks on top of the center column. Make a 3x3 square of andesite blocks around the top block. Then a polished andesite slab on the top, outside face of the front, back, left, and right middle blocks. Now to make the cables supporting the spire. Face the rear left polished andesite block of the 3x3 square. Place a random block underneath it, then another block behind that. Place a polished andesite block piece left, then destroy the random blocks. Place three more polished andesite blocks below. Random block below, back, polished andesite left, destroy random blocks, then place three more andesite below that. Random block below, back, polished andesite left, destroy random blocks, then three more andesite below. Place a dark prismarine slab below that, then another left, back, then right. Go up to the front left polished andesite block of the 3x3 square, random block below, another forward, polished andesite left, destroy random blocks, then place three more andesite below. Random block below, forward, polished andesite left, destroy random blocks, place three more andesite below. Random block below, forward, polished andesite left, destroy random blocks, then place three more blocks below. Dark prismarine slab below that, another left, forward, then right. Go back up to the 3x3 square and mirror these cables from the front right and rear right corners. Back up to the 3x3 square, place a redstone torch on top of each of the corners, then an end rod below each. On the center block, place another polished andesite block, another in front of it, behind, left, and right of it. Place six more polished andesite blocks on the center, then an andesite wall piece to the front, back, left, and right of the top block. On the left wall, place a redstone torch. On the right wall, place a soul torch. Place six more polished andesite blocks on the center, then a wall piece in front, back, left, and right. Soul torch on the left wall, redstone torch on the right wall. Then one more polished andesite block on the center. Switch to chiseled deep slate blocks and add five blocks to the center. Andesite wall piece in front, behind, left, and right. Soul torch on the right wall, redstone torch on the left wall. One more chiseled deep slate block on the center. Switch to smooth quartz blocks and place four more blocks on the center. Then a single polished andesite block. Andesite wall to the front, back, left, and right. Soul torch on the left wall, redstone on the right wall. Now place six more andesite wall pieces on the center. Place a polished andesite block on the center. Place six diorite walls on the center. Switch to deep slate tile walls and place one on the center. Then place two chiseled deep slate blocks on top of that. Then two more deep slate tile walls on top of that. Now, place a single end rod on top of that. And that's it! One World Trade Center in Minecraft at one half scale. No mods, cheats, programs, or commands required. so much for watching today everyone. I hope this tutorial helped you build something you can be proud of. A special thanks to these Big Bean and Super Bean members here on YouTube. If you'd like to support the channel yourself, you can grab some merch, become a YouTube member, or join us on Discord, Reddit, Instagram, and Twitter by following the links in the video description down below. Alright everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.